mismanagement of Kano's case will trigger unrest soon in Nigeria. Catholic Bishop cautioned. Bishop of the Catholic Ecclesiastical Province of Oweri, Imo State, have strongly cautioned the federal government to be wary of being partial with the trial of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran Ipok Namde Kano. Trial. Namde Kano is set to stand trial today at the Federal High Court in Abuja after he was arrested outside the country and bundled into Nigeria to continue his trial after jumping bail in 2017. The Catholic bishop issued a communique after they had a meeting at Ahiara Mbaise. The statement was signed by the Metropolitan Archbishop of Oweri, Most Reverend Anthony Obina. Chairman and Most Reverend Augustine, a chairman, secretary. They advise the government to tread cautiously since any misjudgment in the ruling of Unamde Kano's case can result in a huge pandemonium and cause havoc in the southeast. The statement reads His Kano recent arrest is an opportunity for the government to initiate dialogue on the issue of justice equity and fairness that underpin the agitation of his group and the agitation of other groups like the one led by Sunday Adeyemo, popularly called Igoho, for the Yoruba nation, calling for the self-determination and restructuring. It is worthy of note that the re-arrest of Nnamde Kano will not end such agitation. The mismanagement of his case and any other will trigger avoidable unrest. We wish to state that the world are watching how the federal government are handling the case of the leader of the IPOP, Namde Kanu, who stands as a metaphor for political exclusion and marginalization. Who doesn't know that? Who doesn't know that? See, everyone has been warning Bwari on this issue. They have been warning him on this same issue. That with the way Nam the Kano is being handled, is going to lead to a war that he, Bwari, cannot be able to handle. I'm telling you, see, the only hope that Nigerian government have now is a fair trial because if Mazinam Nkano's trial if this trial of Mazinam Nkano is not handled with fairness I am very very sorry Nigeria will get it hot not only by neighboring uh, um, country but, but, but by international countries because now Nigeria has really stepped on the toes of the UK government and i'm very sure that the uk are going to retaliate they're going to retaliate see many of our leaders don't know what worry has really done to them they don't know by the time they begin to source for support from international countries and they start denying them of those supports just because of what this administration has just cost for them, then they will now know. Now they will now know. Things of this kind is what is denying citizens of a country rights and opportunities from other countries. Look at Sweden today. Look at Nigeria today. Look at the level we are today. Look at the position we are today. Are we in a fair, in a fair, on, on a fair position? Are we on, on, a, on a fair ground today? We are not in any fair ground. We are suffering. Anyone that you ask today, where is Nigeria a developed country? The person will say, ah, Nigeria is a developed country. Come on, keep short. We developed country. We are fucking underdeveloped. That is what we have. That's what we have. 
We are not any fucking developed. We're not developed. And we are very much backward. Very much backward and it's affecting us like seriously. And we are not ready to change. We're not ready to change. And the prison movement keep worsening the situation, keep adding to the problems. And we on our own side, instead of us to, to call him to order, we keep following him sheepishly like cow. Hmm. All these things are what Mazinam the Kano has been lamenting, have been talking, have been you know, flogging on. But we refuse to listen. We keep doing, we keep following. We keep listening. Eh? We keep listening. I don't know when we are going to learn. So what the bishop is saying is the humble truth. The unrest have already started. It has already started in the southeast. And it took so go round. What would I think what the bishop we supposed to say is not even uh, escalates, we will escalate unrest, but rather will 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 spread the already existing unrest in Nigeria because the unrest is already existed, it's already in existence. Justin, it's already in existence in Nigeria. So that is what we need to to understand. That is what we need to take note of. So, my, my, my good people in the house, what we just need right now is just prayer. 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 Save yourself. A friend of mine was telling me, Guy, have you gotten your passports now? Have you gotten your passports? I said, what passport? He said, have you gotten your passports to any other country aside from Nigeria? I said, why? He said, because at any given time, it will happen in Nigeria, and once it happens, that he is taking his the next available flight to Ghana. Oh my God! Because we are not safe in this country anymore. This we are not safe again. Only God will help us anyway. Now let me hear from you from the outside to know what you have to say. If you are new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.